happy, <laughs> happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. It's well, a, is this a leisure Craig day? Welcome to another episode of AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron. This is Mark. Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is one of those releases that I look forward to all the time. One of my favorite releases. This is one of the bottles I want to make sure I get all three batches every year. I love them. Uh, I think they are one of the best values in whiskey. They are consistently good to excellent. So we decided today, since now all three batches have been released, We'll kind of uh, put them up against each other and see which Elijah Craig barrel proof you should be looking for this year. Hey, I, I noticed that someone drank a little bit of these two. What's wrong with this one? Oh, well, I just got it. Oh, is that the C? This is the C924. The new batch uh, was able to just pick it up. I believe this is a fresh crack going here. 11 years, zero months, 129 proof. This uh, seems to be A124. That seems to be uh, the most drank on. Uh, also the oldest and the one, well, I'm not gonna say it, but you can go back to our review and see. Uh, and then uh, B524, which uh, again, go back to our review and see. Um, let us know if this is something that you like in the comments or whether you'd rather just have a review of this by itself. But because we have all three, like all three, like blinds, decided to do this. So let us know if uh, you want just a standalone review of this. We can do that as well. Let's get into it. So we're starting left to right, huh? I guess. You're Same the one who that. set this up. So we Bye. know what's in here. We don't know what's in each glass. They're color coded on the bottom. The nose is good, but that, that doesn't really do anything for me because... I think the nose on these is always good. Seems to be a good mixture of sweet and spice. A little chocolatey to me. Does not drink proofy at all. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of nut, some sweetness there, vanilla. I'm getting more vanilla than anything on that. You're just going through, huh? Turn through them all. Yeah, I'm just doing the nosing real quick through them each to see if there was one nose that really, really stood out from the others. Okay. And then so far, I think A and B. Uh, Hello, Snickers bar. <laughs> well, I think we know which one you think that is. Tastes like a Snickers bar. That was my first inclination. It tastes like a Snickers bar. <laughs> Looks like a Snickers bar. It's a goddamn Snickers bar. The nose on these are also similar. They're very similar noses. That's the that's why I stopped the nosing part is I kind of moved through and there was one that was a little more spicy than the others, but they're all pretty comparable. So if you haven't seen, and I recommend you check them out, we'll put a link in the video. The A124, uh, Mark got a distinct Snickers note from, um, that was the big characteristic. The B524 was a, a spicy meatball, uh, and the C924, this is our first time tasting it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and venture that this glass is A124. Maybe not. Maybe not, getting a Snickers note here, huh? Maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> you straight to you try B. Well, I mean they do the nose is very similar. Okay. Okay. It's very, very similar. similar. Yeah, I I don't know that I can really tell a difference from either of those two. They are very similar tasting experience. Wow. Wow. This is going to be difficult. Yeah, that might be one where I need to go back A and B it because that's very similar. Really similar. I would say those are both sweet forward. Yes. Uh, a lot of sweet forward, chocolate, chocolate back in and a vanilla caramel. I get more caramel here, a little more vanilla on this yeah, one. Yeah, a touch of nut on each. 
a, to a touch of nut on each. Touch yep. of nut. Not a lot. No, no peanut. No peanut shell. Just maybe a hair of brittle. Yeah, I, I mean, I, w I would agree. And after tasting that, I think I would move this to A124 in this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say it's probably the C924. Yeah, because I, I'm the same way. I feel like this I'm expecting is... this to be a spicy, spicier gal. Yeah. You know, based on the first two, because I haven't hit a spicy bugger, I expect this to be the B. Right. But off the nose, I'm not getting it. Eh, give me a touch mm. there. Ooh. Oh, wow. <sighs> there she is. Oh yeah, there she is. I think it's got this same... Oh yeah, there she is. The same notes oh, as the other yeah. one, but comes with a lot more spice. Oh yeah. That, that I still mid, get the chocolate. That mid palate. I still get the caramel. Uh-huh. Same but flavor that, notes. That mid to back end palate, she thumps. Yeah, yeah. You know what's sad is... I'm not a spice guy, but I really like that thumb. That's that's delicious. I like that. Thumb. I mean, right off the get go, again, to me, these two are very similar. This one leans a little more vanilla, where this one leans a little more caramel. This one gives me the kind of chocolate and caramel I get on this one, but with a nice spice throughout mm -hmm. that just adds something. Maybe a touch more oak on this one. There is an oak. There is. There, it this doesn't is seem the, like there's more oak on this one, the far right. Yeah, this is. It the rides with the either. spice though, but you gotta be able to peel back that that spice hit to find that line of oak, and it's there, and it's really, really nice and pleasant. Interesting. One thing I'm gonna say is there are no losers in this blind. These are all no delicious pours. Elisha Craig Barrel Proof is every good, every bit good of. Of your rare breeds full proof, your, your Buffalo Trace line full proof, mm -hmm. your Old Forester. I mean, it's, I, personally, I feel like it slaps 1920. I yeah. Oh yeah. I love Elijah Creek Barrel Proof. It, like, you get three of them a year. They're all slightly different, and every so often, one here or there just tickles your fancy, and it's you. Okay. Like I said at the at the get go. I want every one of these. I think they are by far one of the best values in whiskey. They're just consistently good. If you like high proof and you just like, if you like bourbon, I don't think you can not like these. You're going to like some better than others. I just don't see how you can not like them. As much as this is a spice bomb. It's not ethanol -y. No, that seems to be, to me, this was the most well-rounded of all of them. And this is my leader going in. I think I have my decision. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Back yeah. Just to confirm. Definitely. Yeah. All right. I know my order. I'm stack ranked. Me too. I'm B. Well, I'm middle glass, right glass, left glass. And I'm right to left. All right. So which way do you want to go? That makes sense. Totally. I, I would, if I was you, I would have gone right knowing your palate and how so you So let's drink. find out what this right. glass is. This is the red, red dot. Yeah. Red dot. I need a little thing move out. Right. You need the So B524 is the red dot. Okay. So that's Aaron's first. Okay. My second. Yep. What's uh next one yellow? Yellow. Okay, what's yellow? C. That's So this is the C924. Yellow okay. is C924. Okay. And then last is green, green dot which is a wow. a124 so then i put c first wow you put c second we both put a last we both put a last which surprises me it does surprise me because you loved 
A. I like. I, I like. But again, I like this, all three of these. This the C batch tastes very similar mm -hmm. to A. It's got that, so I can see why you put that first. Right? I can see that. And and B. Like all these are really really rock oh, solid. They're all good. like I like. They're all good. Don't forget to like, subscribe. But until then, keep the whiskey flowing. Cheers. Cheers.